we get set for game five, Chris, it seems like this series could still have a few twists and turns in it. Well, being down three games to one, calling it a do or die game is no exaggeration, but these situations tell us a lot about a team's character. And for some teams, it brings out their absolute best, but for others, it kind of proved to be an overwhelming scenario to face. And so we'll see how they show up here today. And we'll also get to see what kind of killer instinct they have on the other side. Some teams can get a little too relaxed when they're so comfortably in the driver's seat. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go, showing the slab in today's game. Rolando Stanley. What do we have on him? Well, just a three-pitch mix in his arsenal, which, you know, it's not a lot for a starter. So always very important for him to have a good feel and command all three. Sometimes you can make that three look like four if you add or subtract a little bit of velocity on one. But, you know, one thing about it, it can be easy to get too predictable out there on the mound. So hitters are aware of that. Mixing those three pitches at all counts is going to be a big key for him in this one. Addy no, Wexler ball. up to bat next. Lays off for a ball. I see a driver right there. And that one fouled off. But he's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. And now before the 1-2, two, time is called at home plate. First and second, no outs. Here in game five of the World Series. Next no, offering is down low. Well, Boog, early on in this one, having a hard time getting settled in. He's not showing control to throw strikes, and let alone to throw it where he wants in the strike zone. This could be a tough one for him. Big first half. Well, big power hitter right there and generating so much bat speed. Hit. It's hard. Oh, look no, ahead. The designated hitter. Eddie. Eddie. Work, work, work. Packed house here at Minute Bay. Sliced hard but foul. Two outs. Fouled off. She was late. Time call. Chance to collect yourself down 0-2. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. First and second, two down. Here in game five. To the right side. Throws the first in time. That's the third out. Now that designated hitter, Eddie Wickler. Slider misses okay. outside. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Side gets out of the way. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Hey, let her rip one time. Two on, two outs. That one hit to right. Sizes this one up. And that's the third out. So up next, Eddie Wexler. Eddie. Over three. A fly out, a ground out, and a strikeout. Swung out. Deep. That one went back there. And that one's going to land not so much here, but here. A gigantic blast. That's her fourth home run of the series. It's 1-0. That's her third straight game with a homer singing. This player is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often.
love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch him from the on deck circle. So when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. So two outs with runners on the corners. Addie the best. Wexler, the next the come to hit. Hit. She's already home in this game. Wexler. Now the first pitch misses for ball one. Lots of anxious fans in the ballpark right now. You can feel it. Trying to keep this a 2-2 game. Here in the late stages of game five. Wormburner into the outfield for a knock. Runner from third comes across. It's 3-2. Well, there you go, the RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, she's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but her resume speaks for itself. First and second, two outs. Maury Wynn digs in now. And here it comes. Runner on the goal. Swing and a base hit. Coming home. The throw in, but it's offline. Oh, you know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Here's Here the third go. baseman, Brett Bain. So you're talking baby. about a guy that has right, all right. the skills. Baby. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes hey, all the plays. Two outs. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses the first, and the inning is over. They strike with three runs on five hits, no errors, and a couple left on. Part of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Cubs four, and the Astros two. Congratulations to the World Series champions. Incredibly special team. So proud of these players. I know the fans back in their hometown. Everybody going nuts right now. It's going to be such an amazing reception when they return home. Welcome back on the show as we see some of the final moments and reactions in this World Series clinching game. And now let's go down on the field where they're set to present the Commissioner's Trophy to the World Series champs. For Chris Singleton and our outstanding crew, I'm John Chambi. This has been the World Series on MLB The Show. Here now is the final line for tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Four runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 12 runners on base. For the Astros, two runs, seven hits. No errors. They left five runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 47 minutes. Tonight's pay to pay is at Minute Baseball. 41,168. The Astros thank you for attention and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.